Every weekday, roughly 560,000 people, nearly the population of Portland, Oregon, travel between the East Bay and San Francisco, making the Transbay Crossing the Bay Area's most important transportation link by connecting millions of people to their jobs and lives on either side of the bay. There are four ways to make this trip into the city, by car or by bus using the Bay Bridge, by BART train through the Transbay Tube, or by ferry. But travelers haven't always had these options. It took Depression-era federal bonds to build the bridge and visionary planning in the post-war era to build BART. Yet, since BART opened in 1972, no additional transportation capacity has been added between the East Bay and San Francisco. Are today's options really enough for a growing region of 7.4 million people? The system is already strained. With more than 309,000 people crossing the Bay Bridge by car and another 18,500 people using buses, the bridge operates at capacity during peak commuting hours. An additional 224,000 commuters squeeze onto crowded BART trains traveling under the Bay, bringing 1.1 million BART riders to the city per work week. That's more than the entire population of San Francisco. And with the warming climate and the projected addition of 1.9 million new residents to the region over the next 25 years, how will all these people travel across the Bay? First, we have to make better use of our existing system, including getting more people onto buses on the Bay Bridge. Each morning, while traffic backs up at the toll plaza heading into San Francisco, traffic is fairly light heading east we could convert one westbound lane into a bus-only lane, or convert one of these eastbound lanes into a westbound bus-only contraflow lane. This would encourage an additional 10,000 bus passengers per hour with a quick commute into the city. That's almost the current capacity of the entire upper deck. Second, we need to improve BART, a system quickly nearing capacity. A new computer control system would allow trains to run closer together and new train cars with additional doors would reduce loading delays. This would allow for faster and smoother commutes, making BART an even better alternative to driving. And finally, we also need a new way across the bay. Some may argue for another bridge, but that would only worsen the problem by adding more cars and more pollution. And then, where would all these cars park? The amount of space in San Francisco devoted to street parking is already greater than the size of Golden Gate Park. A better option would be to build a new Transbay Tunnel. This would not only greatly increase transit capacity and reduce driving, but could also accommodate future high-speed rail trains and connect growing neighborhoods on both sides of the bay. Ultimately, we need to begin planning and acting now. Providing new ways to cross the bay without a car will help secure a more sustainable, equitable, and economically prosperous region.